Okay, this video is about a text, uh, John 1, verse 12. Specifically, it's a response to a friend of mine who had asked me about uh, somewhat of a conflict in this text and the, I suppose, uh, the solution is probably because there was an error of omission, something's left out or omitted. It's not anyone's uh, fault. It's more our nature. Here we just write it out and of course this is just a post-positive conjunction and this is, uh, uh, I guess we would say, is sometimes it's translated as many ones or uh, whichever ones. It's plural is the key here. Whichever ones or whoever ones, but whoever ones received, speaking of Jesus when he came into the world, came among his own, and his own received him not. But it says, and I'll change that to who since we're talking about people, but who, the, the whosoever ones, whosoever ones, plural, notice that, but the whosoever ones um, that did receive him, Here's capitalized this to know we're referring to Jesus. And that's punctual action, simplest form. That's aorist, so we'll note that so we don't lose that later. And this is just the aorist, uh, simple action, I suppose. It's easiest way. It's punctual action. But it's referring to the reception, who received him. But it says, he gave. This again is Jesus. He gave to them. Now again, this, this refers back to these whosoever ones, but whosoever ones received him, and that's Jesus, they received him. He gave to them authority. And this is the word children of God, of course. This is so common. No one needs to be told this. And this is from Genomai. Word genomai. It's a deponent verb, which that's a technicality for a different class. Um, and to become, let's say it's middle and passive in form, but active in meaning, or to come to be. <clears throat> he gave them authority to become children of God. And then here's where the error is that is, those who keep this in a flummox and somehow say that uh, these people. Uh, didn't believe uh, and it's to the ones to the ones again plural this goes to these which goes back up to that and this is to the ones who are believing and I'll note this very carefully because it's a small thing to us which is a big deal in the Corne text. And it's actually a big deal to us when we speak of it. This is a present active participle. That's, I guess it's kind of self-evident. But anyway, into, that's just a little preposition there, into the name of him. Of course, they're back to speaking of Jesus. Into the name of him. Of him. Now the error of omission that seems to be the source of conflict about this very simple, uh, but in Koine kind of action is a huge deal. Anyone can read it in grammars from uh, hundred year old grammars to ten year old grammars to ones being published today. Uh, what had happened, these people were already believers. We know this, we describe um, substantive, verbal substantives as um, gerund nouns, gerundative nouns, we know that to be, but here the continuous action means they've already believed the gospel, they've already been born out from God. The authority here is the right to become, that is to enjoy the status, state of being, which is not spoken of. Uh, you remember under the uh, purview of that system of Judaism, uh, this authority wasn't granted, As a matter of fact it was an exclusive it was confiscated from God's people. Uh, Jesus later would 
tell them to go directly to his father and pray in his name that they no longer had to come to him. Uh, that's part of this privilege of coming to be, enjoying this status. But they were already believers. So among his own people who rejected him, uh, there were those who did not. There were those who received him. They're described as ones who are believing, which means they had already believed because the purpose of this gospel having been written and remaining on record, that is the miracles, particularly in John 20, 30. The miracles in John 20, 31, it says, and their contextualized narratives were specifically written down in the order that a person might believe, punctual, we'll just make ourselves a little window here, might believe, punctual, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing, which follows, and we know uh, John Clare made all this self-evident when he said everyone who is believing that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. 1 John 5, 1, everyone who is believing that ING that's so important that he made it so abundantly clear. Uh, but this text simply is referring to those among his own who did not reject him, but rather they received him, gave him a reception, uh, he gave them authority. So when you uh, notice 2,000 years later, in our country especially, uh, we have these inalienable rights acknowledged. Peaceable assembly is one of our rights as children of God. It's, we have authority as we... Historically, it's, it's said that um, political expressions were made that in this country we have no sovereign but God and no king but Jesus. Uh, that would be very appropriate today for us. We, we don't consider ourselves audacious or arrogant when we walk about and exercise our authority as children of God and approach our Father in the name of Jesus, our King. We find it very normal to approach the throne of grace and uh, that we might receive help and mercy. And uh, No one really is between us and God uh, in actuality since the death and resurrection of Christ. But anyway, this is just an omission, of, an error of omission by those who do not notice the ING. So the tension comes when one side tries to, or not a side, that's a, a very narrow way to describe it. It's not people's fault that there's this contradiction. Uh, it has more to do with we don't allow the text to script us, rather we're scripting it. But this answers the uh, question uh, that is often posed, how do we say it, where uh, someone later, the next verse, referring, describing these people who are believers, that they were not born out from the will of man or the will of the flesh, but rather out from God. Well, of course, anyone who believes punctual the gospel is generated through that gospel. Paul said, I generated you all through the gospel. The purpose of the gospel to be written is in order that uh, you all might deliberately cause yourselves to believe that Jesus is the Christ. And subsequent to that, believing, which believing always follows belief. And interestingly, even in this text, believing, ING, follows punctual or received. However, I don't think this received here is in the context of coming to be a child of God, but that's certainly not inappropriate for people who uh, heard the gospel. And then, of course, if you want to proceed, but again, simple, punctual, always proceeds, uh, present, continuous. So it's really not a conflict at all. It's just another error of omission. But this text is a real good one uh, when you're trying to uh, exasperate it by someone who would go so far as to say somehow these people were mystically generated apart from the gospel and that there was no deliberative, which is then the deliberative subjunctive of John 20, 31, that there's no causation by them, which is in Genesis 15, 6, Abraham caused himself to believe God. So in its fullness, according to the Bible, knowing what we know from both Hebrew and the Koine text, uh, John 20, 31 says the purpose is for that for someone to deliberately cause themselves to believe. And here these people are already believing. And of course this is why as believers they received him when he came into the world. He had a reception 
uh, positive reception by his believers. And of course, later, anyone who hears the gospel could puncture or simplest form of action, receive him if that's what someone needs this to mean, and then subsequently become a believing one. But anyway, that's it. That's enough. It's, it's very self-evident. It's certainly not easy, that is, if someone wants to bother to learn this common language, and it's so commonly expressed, and it has such specific wording and rules of grammar by which it's governed that to miss the uh, greater truth is why people um, promote the contradiction today. But that's enough, and this was for my friend who messaged me last night through Facebook. And yes, I'm trying to be more socially uh, productive out there in the social media world. So this is enough. It's it's good information, and it's it's very objective based on the rules of a very wordy, commonly expressed language.